Hey you guys, welcome back to the Mountain Board Show. Put on my apron and you're in the kitchen with Einstein's kitchen. This is the cutest apron ever. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, oh, we don't have time. I'm like, oh yeah, we have time for the apron. My mother made that. Oh, she did? She did. I love it because it's green. It goes yeah. with like our green uh, recipe today. Welcome back, Stacy. Stacy Springer with Einstein's Kitchen. It's so nice to have you here. It and uh, we're taking a, oh, it, it is always nice to have you around because you definitely uh, know how to cover the range of types of food. Uh, last time we talked cookies, taking kind of a whole one of you today, <laughs> talking about something uh, very, very personal to you. And Joe and I had no idea about this, you've had quite a, 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 a rather large, mind, if you mind me saying, weight loss, not at all. a huge story in terms of when I saw your before and after photos, I was stunned. I was, I had no idea. Tell me how that happened in terms of that weight loss, uh, maybe what brought you to that point and finally that decision where you're like, I need to change this. Okay, well, I, I just remember being, um, overweight, like getting that message when I was young, like nine. Okay. And I think I've always been overweight, not since then, but it just is it's in my genes, it's everything. But I've sure. always worked out really hard and thought, I'm just not working hard enough. I must not be doing enough. And so last year I, I considered the idea of gastric bypass. And in my mind was like, no, that's a cheat. I can't do that. And then I really, you know, got internal about it. And I said, is this really a cheat? Have you not tried hard enough? And I made the decision to do it. And it was everything got in the line, and I had it done within a month. And I've lost a hundred pounds. My my anniversary was last week. My surge anniversary. Wow. And the cool thing is that I had to really do a lot of internal changes, mind, body, spirit, mm -hmm. and and diet goes along with it as well. But um, that was a lot of the big change, and I I feel like I got my life back completely. Well, we're just looking at as you can see some of these photos here. That is such. Huge breakthrough. I can I don't just for you. You look phenomenal. Thank you. And that's amazing. That uh, and one thing I I've, I've shared this with Joe too. I'm like, I don't know how she does it. She's a chef, and then she's still able to like you know work it. You know that healthier lifestyle. Yeah. And like I said, we've mentioned cookies before. We've done that. We did some grilling, but I think it all comes down to portions. You know, not like overdoing it. Absolutely. But part of that, of course, is the healthy cooking aspect of what we're doing. Which is what sure. you're sharing with us this morning. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, but I do want to take a shout out to Rocky Mountain Associated Physicians because that's where I had my surgery and they've been incredible the, the whole time. So if that's something anybody's considering, uh, they do do a risks and benefits seminar and there's one this Thursday, but you can go to UT, utahbariatric.com for more information. They're amazing. It's, it's like you don't have to be miserable. And cooking has taken a whole new life form. And I, I do think so. I cook stuff for people that I cannot eat or I choose to not eat sure. when I was in that weight loss phase but mm -hmm. now I, I can incorporate other things back in it's kind That's of eating up the excess so now I have an awesome recipe to share wonderful it's all green, green stuff this all morning. green it's um limeade green smoothie that was hard to say for some reason <laughs> it works for me yeah I like and it. so it's you know I start with ice you want it cold right yes, you do something about cold. veggies that are colder and then I have apples and I those are green apples green apples okay. I just core them and this is an English cucumber and have you noticed that some cucumbers are kind of bitter yes yes yeah so the English cucumbers they're in the package okay you've seen them yeah. packaged those are the ones I always use are those they're, they're not so bitter, bitter. They're, 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 they're not, not bitter. bitter I just yep. kept on buying them like am I buying bad cucumbers <laughs> yeah they're well they're just they're just different and they are a little bit more expensive but that's kind of how like this right yeah it you is pay for that. Yeah. I have some Brussels sprouts I know I know it's totally fine they're good they're good for you Okay. They're good. I love you, Joe, but I can't. I've never had these in a, a smoothie. I can't I quite picture it. Do you know what this is? Uh, parsley. Yes. Uh -huh. Good job. Do you know how I know that? I was buying cilantro. Thought I was. <laughs> Actually bought that, and I stuck it in a recipe, and I was like, this does not smell like cilantro. It's not. Yeah. It's not. I just was doing it too quickly. I felt dumb. That so, is the key. That's smelling. the only reason I know that. <laughs> that's how <laughs> I like to think. A lot yeah. is by smelling. Yeah. yeah. I even, I, they do look the same. I've done it myself. They're right next to each other in the yeah. grocery store. I just like grabbed it. Wrong yeah. one. Anyway, what's that? So you know what that is, right? Uh, spinach. Not parsley. Yes. Not spinach. parsley. <laughs> yes. And then I have to get that right. we need some liquid so it'll blend up in here. Okay. And then we need a little bit of sweetener. Oh, I forgot my celery. Very important. Yeah. Yes, we want that. So this is stevia, and it's an all-natural sweetener. I've heard a lot about this. And it's, what exactly is it? It comes from a plant, and so there's no, no calories, no carbohydrates, and it's, oh, 
I just read this. It was like, I don't know how many times the amount of sugar, like a teaspoon of sugar. Sure, it was sure. crazy. It was like yeah. 250 times. But it provides that, that sweet element. That you yes. That. I, need, right. I need a juicer. Oh, yeah. Juice? Oh, I can juice. Will you juice yeah, me? Yeah, I can. And these okay. limes are a little Gosh, bit tough. I, I, I'm going to close my eyes. When you go to choose, you use your like aggression. I'm not doing Is that there very well. Anyone you can imagine you. in your head, not in this room. <laughs> <laughs> like it, <in> a joke. <laughs> I'm so just funny. kidding. Nice. Good job. Okay. So we want we want a little bit of that. And if you don't have one of these fancy things, okay, you can just do this with a fork. Wow. You did that better than me with the fork. With it. Sometimes oh, it oh, is. Yeah. So, oh, well, not. Okay. Well, there's not a better. better. It's better just extracting it. juices. Okay. Extracting. I've used a fork before. Okay. Right. And so that that is it. It's pretty simple. Very good. Well, yeah. while we're winding that up, we're going to go to a commercial break. When we get back, we're talking about a giveaway that you're kind enough to do for our viewers, and we'll take a taste of this and talk more about Einstein's Kitchen. That's after this. 